Good morning from our hotel in New Orleans, and it is embarkation day. Today we are heading off to see. Yes. Yeah, uh, the Disney Magic. So this is your first time in the Magic. My first time since I was a kid. I think like 2004 was the last time I was in the Magic. But yeah, the last class of ships for you to experience. I know, the little one. Yeah. So very excited for this. I mean, it's still gonna be a big. Yes. Ship, but like. Compared to some of the others, this is the little guy. Yeah, oldest ship in the fleet. It's 25 years old this year, which is crazy. But yeah, excited for our, our journey, four night cruise to Cozumel and back. If you didn't see our previous video, we are at a hotel that is not a Disney hotel because we're in New Orleans. Yes. And this hotel has a shuttle that will take us to the cruise port. So... Yeah. That's next on the agenda. So let's head down and get the shuttle. from Port Canaveral, but yeah. The Disney music is playing. This is true, but. And very loud. We're ready to cruise. Okay, so we are on board the Disney Magic. Got some lunch from Cabanas. Yes. Yummy as always. Highlights included the fried cod. Yes, that one was very good. It was panko crusted cod. Yes. And then there was a pasta that had some feta and not feta, it was goat. Goat cheese. Goat cheese and spinach. That was very, very good. Mm -hmm. And of course the crab yes. leg adventure is always fun. Of course. And then I got some desserts as well. Yeah. Not super fantastic desserts, but they were pretty good. Yeah. Uh, my favorite was the apple crumble with like a vanilla cream sauce on top, but... My favorite was the fruit. Yeah. Just the bowl of fruit. Because the carrot cake tried to fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then after lunch, we kind of explored the pool decks a little bit, checked out the quick service locations. I'm so excited for the quick service on this cruise. Yes. So there's three places. So there's Pinocchio's, Pizza, Ria, which is a standard pizza place. But the two that we're really excited for is the Daisy's Delights, which has some wraps and salads and sandwiches. Fruit. And really, really good. Very Fruit. like light, fresh, great for an afternoon snack before yeah. dinner, since we have the 8.15 dinner. Right. So on our past sailings, I've been eating like French fries to help hold me over until my dinner. But now I'm like, I could have something kind of healthy yeah. as my extra meal of the day. They also have like build your own bowls and some soups, yes. so very excited for that one. Yes. And the other one was the Duck Inn Diner, which is just kind of standard grill burgers and stuff, but they also have shawarma, shawarma. including chicken shawarma. So. so I'm very excited. Yes. So it's now about 1.15. The room should be ready about 1.30. We see the hallway. Yes. We're, we're wait, waiting for the door to open. Right outside the Buena Vista Theater now, the movie theater. Yes. which is next to our room, so. Yes, I was worried about noise from the theater, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue no. at all. No, so looking forward to that. We should be in our room momentarily. Then we can drop our bags off, do the room tour and whatnot, and then explore the rest of the ship. Okay, so we made it in our room. We are room 5124. Yes. So port side, right near the aft elevators. So We got lucky. Yes, we did the guarantee room, so did so not we, know. 
We didn't pick this one. This yeah. is what we were given. All we knew was we were going to have a, a veranda. So have that. But yeah, so on with our room tour. Okay, so walking in the door, which we are the second room off of the elevators down the hallway. So very close to the elevators. But turning to our right is the split bathroom. So first we have the throne room. Yes, my throne room. Nice built-in shelf moment, which I don't remember from the fantasy. Mm -mm. But also, the fantasy had shelves, but not like the wood kind of built-in structure. Do we have a brush? We do. Wow, we're fancy here on the magic. Oh, we got stamped toilet paper. Oh, I've messed it up. Oh. Do you need a shot of the stamped toilet paper, Robbie? Wow. Very fancy. And we also, which has been very different from the other ships, is we got a hairdryer built in right here. So that's totes different because before it was in the drawer, in the drawer area. Yeah. You had to sit there to do it. What's odd is that there is an outlet, but not for anything other than shavers. So not exactly like, I was hoping that we could put a nightlight there. So for nighttime bathroom trips, you know, use that. So that might not work, but still lots of good storage. If you need to throw anything away, it's right there. Also tissues. Yes. And additional storage, wastebasket, down here. Yeah. I don't remember the other ships having the sharp container I don't either. available. But or if it was, it was off to the away. side by a toilet. Yeah. Or underneath. So that is the throne room. Bathroom number one. And then the other bathroom is your shower and tub. So pretty similar to the fantasy. The tower is shower is pretty short. Um, as expected for the cruise. And then like other ships, we have the H2O products and the little pumps as of now. For now. Um, this was being filmed in February of 2023. So late February, early yes. March. Yeah. And then turning around, we have another outlet here for, again, shavers only, um, as well as the body lotion and a makeup towel and plenty of other face towels as well. I don't remember as much mirrors in the fantasy, though. I don't either. The other thing to keep in mind for this and every other Disney cruise, you have to step up and down to go to the bathroom. Yes. So keep that in mind if you're tired, just waking up. Or middle of the night. Middle of the night. And or there's another forgot. garbage can in this bathroom as well. Yes. And then turning behind us. Oh, what is this? This is Toilet the light. light. So the light for the shower room is here, and then the light for the whole, kind of whole cabin and the toilet room is next to Why does it say door. toilet light for the room that doesn't have the toilet? I don't know. Docking a point for the magic. Mm. But yeah, so the magic doesn't have the key card insert. Well, that's kind of handy. You don't have to put your, put your key in the uh, light switch to turn the lights on. So. so that toilet light actually does the toilet room. Yeah. Cabin light is... Is the one back there, back there. Oh. behind us. And then the entryway is the one above us. Goodbye. Hello, lights. And then behind you is the closet. So, spacious, like the fantasy, for what you got. Lots of hangers. This is a lot. The doorstep. Yes. <laughs> so watch out for that. But room to put a couple bags. Yeah. Hangers. Your life jackets. Which, we're not going to need those, knock right. on wood. And then the other side is continued hangers and more life jackets, as well as a, a little is, shelf a storage space. and a safe and a laundry bag. Yes. As well as a slip if you want to do um, send your laundry away for them to clean for you. And then turning around from here, we have our silver Castaway Club gifts waiting for us on this um, kind of dresser area here, mm -hmm. as well as our glasses for our beverages for the evening. 
Lots of storage space. I didn't think that was going to just be one drawer. So deceptively large yep. drawer here. This one's little. Another little one. And probably a big one. And a big one. Okay. And trash and recycling. Yes. We did not receive any DVC stuff on the door. Magnets, lanyards, etc. So it'll be interesting to see if that's something that we would get at the DVC reception. Right. Or if being guaranteed they didn't know where we were or if they just forgot us. Very true. But turning around, we have some more storage space here, kind of in the middle of the bed. I don't remember this from the fantasy. I don't either. I don't remember what was there. Oh, we don't have we don't have a connecting door. No. Oh. So maybe that's where the connecting door would be. You do have a full-length mirror behind you as yes. well, which is good for getting ready. It's not in the best spot because you have no. to either be like, or you have to miss part of your body behind the bed. True. But you do have a full-length mirror for getting ready. Yeah. And then, of course, our cruise bed, lovely Disney pillows, lovely I'm Disney so bed. For the pillows. <sighs> After last night. Yes, and similar to the fantasy with the lamps, kind of is a world map showing the different ships and the different Disney parks around the world. And some kind of bedside storage as well on both sides, kind of a drawer and then a higher area for the shelf on this side. Yeah, and the outlets everywhere. They, those, I don't know what kind of outlets those are. Mine looks like a telephone. Also don't know what this switch does. Okay, so that's the switch that goes above the bed. You have the phone on your side. I do have the phone. For all of my important calls. This is true. But I think I might not have... I don't know... I don't, have I don't think we have U.S. outlets. Well, let's experiment later. Okay. Yeah. Surprise! And then over in the living area, we have the pull-down bed. We do not have a fourth sleeper that comes from the sky. Right. But being guaranteed, and two of us, we kind of assumed that we would not have a fourth sleeper because there were other families who needed those rooms. Right. But this would pull down to accommodate a third person if we had a third person hanging out with us. But we don't. It's just us. Yeah. Little table. Little table. And then... Our desk area, which... Okay. This was on bigger the, on the fantasy. On the fantasy, there was an additional shelving moment. Yes. On both sides. Lots of outlets right here, which is nice. We have one light switch that's looking a little wackadoo. Or maybe it's not a light switch. I don't know. That might just be like an emergency light that comes on for the... Yeah. Where the outlets are. But yes, lots of outlets, including some uh, USB outlets as well. What's interesting is there's still the hairdryer outlet, even though for this room, at least, it's built into the wall. Right. But moving along. Yeah. Cabinets above the TV. Goodly size. Yeah, decent size up there. Little TV. Your TV. But that's okay. We're not going to be in the room using the TV that much. And then we have our mini fridge down here. Very fancy wood fridge. So... Plenty, of, plenty big for some wine bottles and maybe some snacks for later in the evening. Because on Disney Cruise, you can bring two bottles of wine per person. Yes. And we brought two total. This is true. Oh, so you have an extra hairdryer. Well, dang. Surprise. In addition to the uh, iron, yes, the, the curling iron hot pad. Hot tools to protect the surface. Yeah. Clonked that down. I'm sorry. And then little. And oh, all little. Interesting. This seems like a perfect place to forget something. Just, that's very true. Nice and little tuft to sit on. Yes, if you want to sit and do your hair drying moment instead of sand. Yeah. This is a fun drawer, though. Yeah, our stationary drawer with the um, hang tag to do. Well, that's, we can't use that one at least. Um, but to order room service for the mornings, you can get like continental breakfast delivered to your room. Mm -hmm. And you have some free postcards. These are great little souvenirs. Yeah. Souvenirs. Oh, uh -huh. there right. you go. 
to be able to take a little something home. Remember your trip. Right. And then, again, big drawer, little drawer, little drawer, and little drawer. And they're all the soft clothes as oh. well. Because I'm not just a dainty lady. They can't slam if your kids are going, you know. This is true. And then, of course, we have our veranda. Side window here. There is a lot of side window. I don't it's remember that a big being. Veranda. It is a big veranda. So we are on the port side of the ship, so we are currently not being able to see where we boarded, but we can see the Mississippi River and the bridge that we are uh, docked next to. The muddy Mississippi. This is true. So when we leave, we have to kind of turn around to go back that way to head out to the Gulf of Mexico. You can see some like rust visible there on the bottom of the veranda yeah but again for being 25 years old very well the maintained. magic is keeping herself up real nice yes okay so that will do it for our room tour what are, you, what are your first thoughts i'm happy with it i i mean it's very similar to the fantasy of yes. course but i mean stylistically it's basically the same as the yeah, fantasy. i knew it was gonna be the same as the fantasy there are some touches that I like better than the fantasy, and there are some touches that I like a little less. Mm -hmm. It is weird to have kind of a dresser moment in the middle of the room. Yeah. And the fantasy, I think it felt more walkable and more open. It did. Because the shelving was basically moved from over there to next to the kind of desk vanity area. Yeah. But again, we knew it wasn't going to look like a wish. Right. And for being 25 years old, I know I just said it, but like... It looks really good. It's really nice. Yeah, I I think I said earlier, but last time I was on, I was on The Magic was in 2004, I believe. Um, it's definitely been quite a while. I was thinking. And it looks almost exactly as I remember it. <gasps> I'm 5'2". Wow. Sorry. Yeah. I was just up on tiptoes. So if you're a tall person, 5'2", keep that in mind. Yeah. But yeah, overall, very happy with it. Yes. So I think now our plan is to... Now that we can put the bags somewhere. Yes. Unpack a little bit and then kind of explore the ship as much as we can. We have to do the mustard drill because the mustard drill is back... Now in person. ...to being in person like it used to be before COVID. We got lucky with our location. Yes. We have to go to Animator's Palette, which is right downstairs from us. We're right by the stairs, so that makes it real easy. But mustard drill's at four, and then the sail wave party. Not sail away. Yes. Sail wave. That is at 4.30. Yes. So we're going to be doing some running. Yes. We will film what we can. No one to go to the spa raffle as well. It's at three. So we'll do what we can. But we will check in with you later. And before heading out, of course, we had to decorate our stateroom door. Okay. So back in the room after exploring a little bit, looked in the nursery. Yes. Did not see the kids club yet, but we walked through the nursery. Very cute. I do like the wish better. Yeah. More Disney esque. This is still small world themed, but right. it's no very Disney cute. Characters. It's very cute. Yeah. It's just not as cute because that one is just everything. Yes. And then did not really have time to look at the kids' club yet. Yet. So that'll be hit later in the cruise, but I'll do a full tour of the ship at some point in this cruise as well and post that at the end of the series. Uh, but we also went to the spa for not only the open house but the spa raffle. So got to see all that the spa has to offer and then sat through the raffle. Sad and group. we actually won. Both of us. Yes. So we each got a $50 voucher for a signature treatment in the spa. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we used that money to book a couple's massage this cruise. We was not planning on, on booking something, but when you have $100 to, to burn, why not? But it's a good use. So we have a couple's massage on the morning of our Casa Melt Day. Yes. Since we weren't planning to rush off that day. Right. So then we'll just start the day relaxing. We'll have a massage in Mexico. Exactly. I mean, that's pretty darn special. Indeed. 
So, yeah, excited for that. I'm still going, what? They yeah. made you answer a trivia question. Yeah, so that it was weird for this cruise because they didn't do it on the Fantasy or the Wish. They pulled people out that were celebrating various things, whether it's anniversary or honeymoon or birthday, birthday. in this month. Um, the only one they specified in this month was birthday. So uh, we went up there for anniversary since their anniversary is coming up. Mm -hmm. um, but you, and we are celebrating our anniversary yes. on this cruise. And you double dipped being birthday as birthday. well. So very exciting. And they pulled all, all these guests up and were asking questions that did not really relate to the spa. At all. Started. There was Mrs. Least. Doubtfire trivia. Yeah. You had a Forrest Gump question. Yes. And that, but it was whoever raised their hand and answered first. And they were like, who remembers the spa special? And I was like, I do. Yeah. So he won on Forrest Gump trivia. I won by remembering what was said five minutes prior. This is true. So excited we, we did that. Finally won something. I know. Only took us three tries. Yeah. Three cruises. But, you know, $100 is $100. So now we came back to the room to kind of just chill for just a second. Check in. Yes. And I think next we have to head to our muster drill because that's very soon. It's the old, old it's, way, so we don't really know what's going on. It's our first time. Our first muster drill. Yes. I remember back in the day we had to do this. I know the first cruise I went on, I think we even had to wear our life vests down there. If my memory serves me correctly, but we don't have to do that this time. I wasn't cruising back in the day. Yeah. I just started within the past calendar year. Yeah. But luckily we don't have very far to go. We just go right downstairs to Animator's Pallet, and then that's at 4, so until 4.30, and then we go all the way upstairs. Scoot up there. To the deck, top deck, for the deck party at 4.30. Mm -hmm. So, very busy. Exciting stuff. Yes. And then, did we say what our dinner is tonight? We did not. So we start tonight with our show is Tangled the Musical. Yes, we're starting with Tangled, which yeah. was a bit of a surprise. But we're excited. Yeah. And very, and very fitting. Yeah. We are going to Rapunzel's uh, Royal Table. To, or, yeah, Rapunzel's Royal Table? The Rapunzel Restaurant. Yes. I think it's Rapunzel's Royal Table. But Rapunzel's Restaurant. Um, so keeping with the theme. Very excited for that. Very excited for the food here. I have so. a themed outfit. It's going to be great. The Porg doesn't have a themed outfit. The Porg's ready for the sail away party, though. Yeah, Porg's sailor sailor moment yeah. we have a f we have other outfits you know we met donald too we saw donald donald like the pork because yeah. the pork vaguely resembles donald yes so yeah very fun but now it's time to head to the mustard drill so the mustard drill took about 20 minutes total it was an animator's palette and it was basically once everybody was gathered we were able to watch a safety video explaining what to do in an emergency then we headed up to the top deck for the sail away party and noticed we were already starting to turn around and head out to sea
Okay, so just got back from the Sail a Wave deck party. Sail a Wave. Yes. Lots of fun. We started moving before the party even really started. Started. So that was interesting. It was funny and interesting that it was so personalized to... The magic. Right. I'm curious if the wonder is the same one and they just replaced that one word. But I don't I know. I mean, same amount of syllables. True. You know. Easy to do. But yeah, lots of fun, lots of characters, as usual. Mm -hmm. But different show than The Fantasy and The Wish. Right. So, Which was nice. It yeah. was nice to get something different. Yeah. I didn't realize that all the shows were different on the ships, so that's good to know. I think The Magic and Wonder might be the same, and The Fantasy and Dream might be the same. But, yeah. So, very cute with that. And then afterwards... It was it's so windy, though. Very windy. Very, very windy. So, the sound might be like... <sighs> Yeah, I tried to block it with, with my body as much as I could, but we shall see. But yeah, so we got some snacks because it's currently five-ish. It's time for first dinner. Yes, five o'clock. So we don't eat until 8.15. The show's at 6.15, so I figured we get a little snacking. So we stopped by Daisy's Delights for the first time this trip. Yes. To try some wraps and some fruit, just some light little food. Um, so you ordered the, not ordered, but you got a chicken Caesar wrap, yes. and I tried the Greek wrap, which apparently is veggies Vegetarian. and uh, feta cheese. So, excited for that. And we got some grapes and cantaloupe. We also went to Cove Cafe. So excited that the magic has this available since the wish does not, but the treats are all free, complimentary. Yeah. So we got some cranberry bliss bar things and a caramel tartlet. So, yeah, we'll dig into this now. And probably check in with you I mean, after dinner. But yeah. So after this we'll go to Rapunzel's. We gotta get our outfits on. Right. I have a full costume change. Yeah. We'll go to Tangled's the musical and then Rapunzel's roll table. So we'll check in with you later. 
Okay, so just got back from Tangled the Musical. Mm -hmm. Personally, I loved it. I don't, for me, it's very close. I don't know which one I like better between this one and Frozen. But I know you are going to be more particular since you have the theater experience and whatnot. There, there were some parts that I, were... I don't know if we've ever explained that, like, my background. I'm a member of Actors' Equity Association, the Union for Professional Actors and Stage Managers in the United States. I act professionally. I get paid to do it. So I know some of the challenges and everything that goes on it. So I actually know someone who just got off this ship <laughs> a few weeks ago too. And it's hard to perform in this situation because the audiences here aren't typically used to going to a theater a lot of the time. You've got a lot of little ones who aren't used to sitting still. Because like even today there was a small child waving a glow stick. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that makes it hard. But I thought it was good. I thought they took a lot of kind of strange liberties. We added a lot of music. Like... That part was weird because there's enough there's enough songs in the movie Tangled. Well, they took out the kingdom dance and replaced it with a like, we can't wait for a princess to come home number, which was fine, but I would have preferred if they'd set it to the tune and still had that song in there because I really love that kingdom dance instrumental that's in Tangled. They again, it was like the wish. When King Triton and Ariel's wigs were like, was not that bad. It wasn't as bad as King Triton. King Triton's was bad. King Triton was just a hit. Mother Gothel sometimes had that problem too. I wish that her wig had been pulled, and Rapunzel's wig. I don't know why they made it that color. Yeah, if it, it had was been a warmer, strange. more yellow tone, it would have read. I would have liked it. Yeah, but it looked like a mop. Yeah. It did. And it's also such a present thing on the stage, all the hair, that it's almost like another character that True. all the performers have to deal with. And I think that it was in a braid the whole time, which is fine, but it wasn't always used in a way that worked really well for the actors i guess there were times that it was like we have to deal with this yeah we're making choreography to use the hair that... as a jump rope well that was fine that was fun that, yeah i did not expect that to happen but, but mother knows best became hairography yeah which it would have been more fun to have mother gothel just like live in her life and being like over dramatic because that's who she is but instead they were like trying to use the hair a lot true Flynn was really fun. Yeah. The kids loved him. I enjoy the fact, so he does kind of like run through the audience. That was yes. fun. Um, and I thought the snuggly duckling scene was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Just as a whole. Which was part of the jump rope. Yes. But, yeah. They put on a great show to entertain people. Yeah. It's just like, there was, again, it was, like I said on The Wish, there were some kind of weird choices. Like, Rapunzel's dress was also orange at the top and kind of like purplish at the bottom almost looked as if they tried to go like the iris iridescent route almost but it was orange but yeah it was definitely orange on top and with the orange dress it was fairly close to the performer's skin tone and the mop-esque hair it just it took some of rapunzel's vibrancy away from her true which i again no fault to the performers it's just different tech costuming artistic choices that were made yeah that it was like why couldn't you just put her in pink yeah and i agree with something you said right before we started recording did miss pascal i did miss pascal but that seems to be the going theme here because we didn't have um a iago boo. we had a oh, iago sorry, yeah, we, we didn't, didn't, have, a didn't have a boo um it's hard to have small animals <laughs> yeah which I mean, I didn't expect to see Pesco. So, overall, I thought it was really fun. I think kids are going to like it. I think adults are going to like it. Yeah. I think it's just like, if you really love theater, 
so it's going to be hard to sit in the audience and see people on their phones and kids waving glow sticks and people getting up and leaving and coming back in the middle of the show which made me nervous once they started running through the audience true because i was worried that the performers were going to crash into people yeah who just kept like not behaving as great theater patrons but yeah so that was Tangle the Musical. Mm -hmm. We have two more shows on this sailing, mm -hmm. and the other two are actually both originals, which I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. um, we also, before the show, randomly saw some characters, yes. took some selfies. I don't know what the costume situation was this evening, but it was fun. I don't know, man. It's Goofy festive. was vaguely Mardi Gras, purple and gold swirls. Then was it was a like chip. a birthday party almost. Yeah. Chip and Dale were Chip and Dale were birthday though. with the green. So I'm like, I don't know what's happening. But if you know, let us know in the comments below for sure. Reminded me of Mardi Gras. At least Goofy and I guess Chip and Dale were in green. but They might have been going for that. To me, it just looked like birthday party hats. Like leftover from Mickey's 90th birthday or something that they just brought back out. Maybe so. But yeah. So lots of fun with that. Stopped by the DVC desk as well and got our magnet and lanyards. lanyards and little luggage tags. Yes, for our gift of the day. Since you can stop by the DVC desk every day if you are a DVC member and get a free gift. And yeah, now we are back in the room to chill for a little bit. We have dinner in about a half hour or so. But At Rapunzel's Royal Table. Yes, so we can see... It's a very tangled day. We got in the spirit with the show. This is true. Get to see more Rapunzel and Flynn and I think some ruffians and thugs. They also didn't say thugs. Yeah, it was thieves. ruffians and thieves the whole time. And it was, instead of men with pointy teeth, it was men with pointy sticks. Sticks. So, I don't know why. Why they changed, like, Again, two words in a songs, weird artistic choice. It, that, at least it was consistent. Yeah. But, yeah, it was Because the first odd. time I was like, did she forget the words? And then, no, it was just, they're thieves. Yeah. But, yeah. So now it's time to head to, in a bit, head to dinner. So we'll check in with you after dinner and give you our review of Rapunzel's Royal Table. Okay, so back from our dinner at Rapunzel's Royal Table. Mm -hmm. I guess start with the show aspect. The kind of entertainment aspect of the, sh of the meal. It was fun. We weren't seated in a great... No. Spot. I couldn't see much because I had a pole in front of me, so didn't record a whole lot. They did come down kind of a walkway aisle area. Yeah. Because I think they know that not everyone has a great view of the stage proper. Right. So it seems like the Wish fixed this problem with the Frozen Dinner, putting the stage in the middle for more, so more people could see it. Um, but it was still very cute. Recorded a little bit, so I'll put that right here. And then we're gonna add the final piece of the puzzle, a big loud whoa! whoa. That's Attila's favorite part. Uh -huh. Alright, now let's put it all together. Black, black, sun, sun, black, 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 black. What can you dress for the kingdom over here in the, in the kingdom colors? That's so wonderful. Very nice. I'm sure we'll find the world really like it. Oh, no. Are you following your dreams? Of course. What's your dream? You're here, you're living a dream. That's a very important thing. It's wonderful to live a dream. You want to know where I really was and why I was really late? Yes. Well, I was busy making this for you. The perfect lantern, the perfect princess. Not bad, eh, Blondie?
taste, he sings in comedy. All those years living in a blur. All that time never truly seeing things the way they were. And at last I see the light, and it's like the fog has lifted. And at last I see the light. The there characters. Were, there were more character interactions. Yes, came table to table. Um, Hook Hand, Rapunzel, and Flynn all stopped by, so that was fun. Attila wandered. Attila wandered, but then he had to, he had to fix his cupcakes. So they were burning. Yeah. So, but yeah, lots of fun. And then, as far as the food goes, mm -hmm. this was phenomenal. I think this may be the best meal we've had on a Disney cruise. At least rotational dining. Because Palo, yeah. Palo brunch was good. But, but as far as the main, just what you're supposed to go to and not pay an extra for. Yes. The, I think that was, this was the most consistent. Mm -hmm. From start to finish, it was just, all amazing. Right. Appetizer wise, we both ordered the shrimp, uh, which was outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, I also ordered the tuna, which was very, very good. Comparing it to the uh, avocado tuna tower, this one didn't have as much like a soy sauce flavor, but it was still so flavorful and did not really need any kind of soy sauce. So that was very good, very fresh. And then we kind of split the charcuterie. The snuggly duckling platter. Yeah. Which was similar to the one from Enchanted Garden on the Fantasy, but this one was better. Um, not the star appetizer by far, but still pretty good. And then... I like the pretzel bread. Yeah, the pretzel bread was great. I liked the dip that came with it. It was like a, a creamier mustard sauce. So that was good with the pretzel. Um, and then for our entrees, you ordered the tangled pasta. I did. Which was our service rec recommendation. Yes. Um, and they have a similar pasta on the other ships. This one was in a pesto sauce. This one was way better. I don't normally pick pesto like that wouldn't be my normal choice but I think these were the best scallops I'd ever had the pasta paired well with it it was just overall I didn't but I could have licked my plate clean you yeah. know it was that good this, your scallops were cooked perfectly so would recommend getting that one for sure right. you also ordered one of the vegetarian options right to try it the potato crepes. It was a list of vegetables and potato crepes. And it was not what I expected. No. It tasted almost like a lasagna. So it was fairly similar to the vegetable lasagna that I had on the Fantasy. But again... Was it crumbly? Leaps and bounds better. Yeah. Just way better. Looked like a burrito. It did look like a burrito. When it came out I was like... Yeah. And I could see... We were seated at a six top table with one other couple. Yes. So I could kind of see them looking over like, but when my potato crepe came out. Mm -hmm. But again, solid. It's good. Not as good as the tangled pasta, but still very good. Mm -hmm. And then I ordered also two entrees. So I got the Flynn Rider platter, which was basically a whole bunch, whole bunch of pork. So it was a pork belly, a pork sausage, and a pork loin. It was good. It was better than the random pork dish that we were given and didn't order in the fantasy. Um, but not anywhere near as good as the seafood options here. But it was very good. Very flavorful. Very smoky. So if you're into that, then go for that if you want some kind of pork options. But my other entree was significantly better. 
and it was the sea bass. So I've gotten the sea bass now every single time on the fantasy and the wish and here. The wish was by far the bottom. I don't know what they did wrong with it. Um, this one in the I, frozen restaurant, right? Arendelle. The fantasy was very, very good, and I loved it on the fantasy. This one was better. This one was so buttery, not fishy at all. It just kind of fell apart. It was outstanding. Loved the sea bass. Um, and the, the veggies it was on, I don't remember what the veggies were in the other I chips. I saw peas but, on today. Yeah, I got peas and like snap peas and um, broccoli. So lots of stuff down there. Very, very good though. And then for dessert, tried a little bit of everything, almost. Um, we got the birthday Sunday, which was... Weird. Yeah, weird. But we had to do it because it was Rapunzel's birthday. Yes. And we're celebrating and we were, your birthday. I was going to say, we're celebrating my birthday, and I'm dressed in this getup. Yeah. So. But it was birthday cake ice cream. Which was green. Yeah, it was good, but it was I didn't expect the green. And then it was topped with a cupcake made, of course, by Attila. But there was a nice strawberry compote underneath, but you had to, like, dig mm -hmm. past cupcake and ice cream to get to the compote. Yeah. And then... But the compote was the star. Yeah. I ordered the Black Forest Tower, which was like a chocolate mousse that had a little bit of like cherry in the middle with some cream. Basically, like you said, tasted like a chocolate cherry in mousse form. So good if you're into that. Um, but I think the two star, at least in my opinion, desserts were one, the cheesecake that you that we had on the fantasy as well. The creme brulee cheesecake. That was my favorite. Yeah, that one was very, very good. And then the other one that we got was the signature, or not, it wasn't the signature one, but it was one of the offerings that was themed to Rapunzel, and it was Rapunzel Sweetbread. So this one tasted like a donut. It was very similar to a donut. It was warm, it was sugary, covered with like chocolate and um, ice cream, and in, in the little frying pan. It was very cute. Yeah, very, very cute. It had the best presentation out of... It was really good. Probably all of the desserts. Kind of a cross between a donut and a funnel cake. Kind of. So, got that. And then we also had a little extra treats. Um, since this was the restaurant we were going to be celebrating both our anniversary and your birthday, we got two extra cakes that were the same cake. Same cake. But yeah. Okay. Outstanding dinner. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. That's I think that's my favorite rotational dining that we've had thus far. I'm very excited for the rest of this cruise because the food that we've had so far, Cabana's, the quick service, and now Rapunzel's has been fantastic. So Tomorrow's Lumiere's for us. Yes. Which I think is my... That's the one I'm least excited for, mm -hmm. if I'm being completely honest. Because that menu is the same as... Royal or Court. Or almost the same as Royal Court from the Fantasy. And that was my least favorite. So, hopefully, we'll again have a repeat of a really wonderful night and a wonderful dinner. Yeah. And hopefully, it'll be better than Royal Court. I don't know. Now yeah. there's a competition. This is true. They don't know it, but <laughs> they're competing. And then, after dinner today, we went up to the D Lounge to partake in a game show because we saw a different vlog. Someone went to there and they have some new medals. So I was determined to get one of these new medals. Yes. So we went to Mouseketeer Madness, which was basically Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but Disney style. So you have to answer five questions correctly, and if you do, you get a medal. So random number generator, and I was picked. He was. So I'll put that clip in right here. All right, let's reveal your first question, Robbie. Here we go. What fictional African country does Black Panther come from? Is it A. Wakanda B. Wisconsin <laughs> C. Atlantis or D. Monstropolis That would be A. Wakanda Feeling confident? Sure. You feel better now you've seen your first question? Yes. Let's lock it in. Computer, please reveal. Is it A. Wakanda? Yes, it is! Let's reveal question number two. Here we go. Complete the title of this Disney film. James and the Giant. A. Artichoke. B. 
peach, C, watermelon, or D, orange? That would be B, peach. Are you sure? Yes. Because this one gets a lot of the kids. Yeah, we're going to go for D, peach? Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, let's lock in that answer. Computer. Is that right? Is it correct? Yes! Sometimes when we ask the little ones, they've never heard of that and they're like, it's obviously watermelon. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. Alrighty, let's reveal question number three. Here we go. Who is crowned the king of topsy-turvy day during the festival of cool ceremony in the Disney feature The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Is it A. Phoebus? B. Judge Frollo, C. Quasimodo, or D. Esmeralda? I think I know this one, but I'm going to do the mouse two. And remove two incorrect answers. Awesome! Computer, please let's use that mask of two. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Did that help? That made it worse. It made it worse. Oh no, okay. Um. You want to take a guess? Uh, I think I'll ask the, the crowd. Are you sure? Yeah. You don't want to save it in case you get a super hard one? I, I'm not counting on this one. Okay. Alrighty, audience, it's your time to shine. Please, by round of applause, do we think it is B, Judge Frollo? Or C, Quasimodo? I will go with C. Is that what you were kind of going towards, you think? I thought it was Phoebus, but I guess not. So. Alrighty, well, good job we asked the audience. Let's see, is it C, Quasimodo? Yes! Yeah. Especially if you've not seen it for a really long time or you've never seen it. Alrighty, we have two questions left. I believe in you, Robbie. Let's reveal question number four. Here we go. Feeling good about this one? Okay. During what decade did Mickey Mouse first appear? Was it A, 1920s, B, 1930s, C, 1940s? Or D, 1950s? It was 1928, so A, 1920s. Alrighty, we're knowledgeable about Disney. We love it. Let's look in A, the 1920s. Computer, please reveal. Is it the 1920s? Yes, it is. You know your stuff, Robbie. Alrighty, we only have one more question. How would you feel to become a masketeer tonight? So great. So great. We love that. We're going to try and make that dream come true. Let's reveal question number five. Here we go. Feeling good about this one? Pretty sure. Alrighty. The song The Wind Beneath My Wings is from which touchstone film? Is it A. Beaches? B. Flight of the Navigator? C. Splash? Or D. Three Men and a Baby? That would be A, Beaches. 100% confident? 100%. We love the confidence. All right, let's lock in B, Beaches. Now, if you get this right, Robbie, you are going to become a master tier. Whew. Computer, please reveal. Is it A, Beaches? Yay! Yeah! Robbie, you are our next master tier of the evening. We wear that with pride. I want a Mickey medal. He's a Mouseketeer. I'm a I'm Mouseketeer. So, I'm so proud. But I, I like. I think that medal is just so cute. Mm -hmm. Compared to the one we got from trivia, where it's just like a Mickey head and it says like "You're a winner." But, I mean, this one also says "winner." Right, but like, multiple times it does. But yeah, I was very excited. Mm -hmm. I know we'll be doing several trivia's this this cruise, so curious to see if these are the medals for everything or just for the special stuff. But we'll see. And coming back to the room, we had a towel animal waiting for us. A little guy. Yeah, a little, little towel frog today. So, I don't remember our stateroom host's name, but we'll have to look that up for tomorrow. But yeah, he did a great job with this little towel frog. Mm -hmm. And it's now it's 11 o'clock. And we have to set our clocks forward one hour. 
for some reason. We don't know why. Because we're not going into Eastern time, so I don't really know. Cause for fun. Cozumel is in Central time? I don't know. And we left at Central time? So I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Yeah. We, we shall see. But tomorrow we have a kind of a packed day as well. Yeah. But lots of things planned. We have the princess gathering in the morning. We have a tasting in the afternoon. And yeah, Twice Charmed is the show and Lumiere's is the dinner. So stay tuned for that. I need to sleep. But yes, now it's bedtime. We've been up since very early since our beds were not comfortable last night. But excited for the Disney bed. So we will call it a night here. So thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time. See you real soon. Thank you.